I'm with Max Henderson who's just completed two open water swimming races today here in Oldswater uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about being safe in open water. Max, tell me about your experience of swimming in open water and cold water. Uh, yeah, I've done it since I was just little and um, I've always swam in the lakes and been in the rivers and stuff in summer and I've always enjoyed it and I, I always make sure to... Uh, yeah, you're gonna get. How do you keep yourself safe? What do you do when you're getting into open water that keeps you safe? You always uh, make sure you get a feel for the water first. You make sure there's nothing underneath the surface. Make sure there's no undercurrents and anything. And make sure the water is like comfortable with you. Make sure you're not. It's not too cold. So one thing, I mean, you and I have been out and had a swim. Now you've done two swims in a wetsuit today, and then you and I had a swim. Now I've got used to the water this morning three times before you got in. What was the first thing you did? when you got in the water before you even started swimming? I uh, did my feet and my hands and I splashed myself a little bit just to get a nice little feel and then I stayed in shallow water until um, I knew that it was fine for me. What about jumping in? Don't, never just jump in like, without knowing what it's like. Always make sure that it's warm, uh, warm enough for you. And, um, and knowing what's underneath, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, always checking. Maybe Max, well done on your swims today. Um, a second and a first in two races. So this shows folks what a good swimmer Max is and yet he's taking very, very sensible precautions when he gets into the water. Enjoy the water, but please take Max's advice. Thanks, Max. Thank you.